Hi everybody, I wanted to make a quick video regarding blood pressure. Um, so basically, I want to give a brief history about my blood pressure and what I'm doing now to combat getting high blood pressure. Um, so um, normal blood pressure is around 120 over 80. And for most of my life, my blood pressure has always been normal or slightly lower. So um, slightly lower than 120 over 80 is pretty much really good blood pressure. Um, and um, I would say this year, um, 2021, the beginning of this year, uh, I started noticing that my blood pressure was increasing and getting worse out of the blue. So basically I went to get my annual physical and they took my blood pressure and they were like, wow, your blood pressure is pretty high. Are you nervous? And I was like, yeah, because <laughs> I usually get nervous when I go to the doctor. I don't know what I just do. Um, so they were like, okay, well, you know, we'll just kind of watch it and see how it goes or whatever. So I ended up going back a couple of times and lo and behold, my blood pressure was high. And um, I went to another doctor that, you know, totally different doctor and my blood pressure was really high. So my blood pressure has been um, pretty high this year and I'm contributing that to basically the way I was eating and stress. So uh, what I have decided to do um, this year, I was basically, I, I got me, I got two blood pressure, well, I already had a blood pressure cuff, um, but I went ahead and got another one just to have a backup for a second reading. So what I do now is um, I take my blood pressure about three times a day and I write down my readings. Now I do have a background in medical so I'm very familiar with blood pressure and how you know what's normal and what you know what's not normal and um, Pretty much I wasn't recommended to go on medication because I guess my number, my readings weren't consistent enough, but with me pretty much checking my blood pressure at home, I realized that if I didn't change my diet or my stress levels that I would probably eventually have to go on medication. So um, what I do is I pretty much exercise up to about five to six days a week. <laughs> and I cut down on salt. I'm doing extended fasting um, for the most part, which is basically just not eating for a few days. Um, and I check my blood pressure three times a day and I write it down. Um, right now I'm using two blood pressure cuffs. They're both like um, automatic cuffs, but Pretty much, I've had one for a really long time um, because I've always just been health conscious. I, I have checked my blood pressure on my own over the years and as well as my husband. And uh, so what I did was I bought another one just to have a backup so I can kind of compare the numbers. Um, eventually, I'm going to buy a third one and I'm going to take my blood pressure three times to compare the readings just for confirmations and averages. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you a brief background of my blood pressure situation. Um, pretty much I started writing my blood pressure down, um, in around like, I would say May-ish and I've been writing my blood pressure down like all through the summer and I noticed that my blood pressure wasn't really going down, um, back to normal. It wasn't, well, let's say this, it was fluctuating the top and the bottom number and um, it wasn't to me it wasn't really good so um, so that's why I started really focusing on like changing my diet um, by the time fall got here I was like okay um, if I keep going on this route I'm gonna end up on medication which I'm really trying to prevent because I know that my blood pressure is basically diet and um, stress induced so, um, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. So my next video is just going to basically show you how I go about checking my blood pressure and um, just how to do it and just kind of watch my readings and you guys can see um, how, 
how my my readings are and how it's going so um yeah stay tuned for the next blood pressure check video i'm going to show you how to check your blood pressure um how to be proactive in your health basically you don't necessarily have to wait for a doctor to tell you you have high blood pressure if you if you take my advice you can um kind of monitor it and stop it before it happens um and you know that's pretty much it i'm not saying don't go to the doctor you should but you should try to um, be proactive when it comes to your health. Monitor your health because we pretty much have all the instruments we need to get an idea of where our health kind of stands. And um, it's just a matter, a matter of um, monitoring your own health and being proactive. And then you can prevent um, diseases and, you know, and issues with your body, especially as you age. So I'll be back with a blood pressure check video. All right, take care.